I feel so stupid for telling you this and talking about this, but I felt stupid, so I wanted to get it across. But I feel so stupid when I do app script, when I program app script. It's been 10 years. I've been coding Google app script 2013. I had just started a job. It was like September 2nd I started the job, literally the day after Labor Day. And it took me two weeks. The first time I touched Google app script, it took me two weeks to write one line of code. That line of code, by the way, is here on my YouTube channel. I made a whole video about that. It ended up being, you know, two years later, I got to $75,000 a year and was doing great. And I started 10 years ago <laughs> writing one script and it took me two weeks. And even then, since then, for 10 years, I don't feel like a professional. I don't feel like a pro. I don't feel confident. I don't feel like I have it together. Every challenge is exhausting and every challenge is like, I don't know if I can do this. Honestly, like, I also feel just so stupid for sharing this because I'm supposed to be some kind of like Google Sheet guru or some Google Sheet guy. I was the Google Sheet guy in an office for five years. Everything I did at that company and that startup was run on Google Sheets. I was just having this discussion with someone else and they were like, yeah, how did you get into Google Sheets, and I didn't really get into it. I, I got pulled into it. I learned Excel, Excel VBA. In fact, it's been 13 years since I learned Excel VBA, and the reason why I started using Excel VBA was because I was lazy. I didn't want to do some manual work, and I was like, someone was putting something on a sheet over here, a spreadsheet in Excel. I was saving that file to a a shared folder, and I was like, I need to get it to this other Excel sheet, Excel document. How do I do that without having to like open both, one on each side, and start copy pasting? There's gotta be a better way to do this. And there was Excel VBA. The answer was Excel VBA. And I spent three years working with Excel VBA, automating this stuff, and I was in a position, I, I was working on cruise ships at the time, I was in a position that that position existed on other ships, and I was doing much more creative work. The funny thing about cruise ship jobs and probably your job as well, is if you save time doing that job, you don't get that time back. You're still on the clock. You're gonna put in your time for 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours, whatever it is. You're not gonna go home early. You need to like put in the time, but you've just saved like hours of work, right? By learning Excel VBA or learning Google script. You you think, oh, I will just do less work. What ended up happening for me was it opened up a lot of creative outlets. Now that I was unburdened by doing this task for three hours a day, it was like a 10 to 15 minute job. I then turned to more creative endeavors. And I think, you know, it's 2023 right now, we're seeing a lot of AI. You'll see a lot of AI on this channel here. I'm going to be putting more AI into Sheets as I learn about open AI's GPT-3 API. You'll see a lot more of that. You're going to see a lot more automation. You're going to see a lot more things that can be done in seconds instead of hours. And you're not going to get that time back. Yeah, you save time, but you're still on the clock. I work for myself. You might work for yourself. You might own your own business. In fact, you might work for other people. No matter what, you're still never going to get that time back. You're going to save hours. You're going to save weeks. You're going to save days, years off of your life. But, like, you're still going to have to work. You're going to still have to put in the hours and put in the time and the effort and the energy and the focus. But to what now? Now that what becomes so much more interesting, so much more colored, so much more... Creative. What happens next? What happens when we're automating sheets, when we're using app script all the time, it becomes a tool in our tool belt? Then I end up feeling stupid again. It's been 10 years and I don't feel any less stupid. I feel like there's so much to learn. There's so many things that can be done. An infinite number of things that can be done with app script. And then there's an infinite number of things that can be done with AI. Like I just started weeks ago implementing the API for OpenAI's GPT-3. 
I ended up in three weeks like creating a GPT interface inside of Sheet, created hot hooks, Twitter hook writing app inside of a Google Sheet, a city description app, a question and answer app, an entirely new way to ask Sheets questions. There is a specific pre-AI time in my life and there is now a post-AI time in my life. And maybe this is what I spent the last 10 years coding an app script for, be, to prepare for this. And it's not scary to feel stupid again. It's exciting, it's fun, it's creative. I see where the creativity is possible. Thankfully, I've surrounded myself with people who are doing creative things with AI text and AI images. So I can see what they're doing, what their output is, and I can also talk to them. And so, you know, if you're feeling stupid too about coding and you're just starting just the coding part, just starting app script, I want to be available for you and I want to help you through that part. One thing is you will never stop being stupid. Wait, no, sorry. You will never stop feeling stupid. You will stop being stupid, but you will never stop feeling stupid. This is a very fun and exciting time in our lives. And if you're not coding App Script, if you're not coding Google Sheets, I think you're missing out. I think you are missing out on quite a lot. Like, not just a 10x kind of order of magnitude. I think you're missing out on a hundred or a thousand X times the amount of stuff you can do or the types of things you can do. And again, I want to go back to this analogy. It is not necessarily just saving time. It is making our lives better inside of Google Sheets. It's making our lives better so that we can be more creative, have more fun. It's more enjoyable. We're getting done the things we need to get done. And then we're getting done the things we want to get done. What is that next step to dial everything up to 11, right? Now, you may be thinking, okay, I have to learn App Script and then I can learn AI. Honestly, I think if you just start reading documentation about AI and you just start looking at what's possible and thinking, what do I want to do? I think that will be a great guiding light, a great north star to then learn App Script. And then, you, then devoting only like three hours to take my course, Spreadsheet Automation 101, which walks you through the th first steps of learning App Script and automating sheets, getting those business practices automated, emailing yourself, doing stuff while you sleep. That all, it takes three hours. That's like a Sunday afternoon. If, if you combine all of my coffee breaks in the last seven days, that's probably about three hours. The first 23 minutes is free and available here on this YouTube channel. And after that, it's like w much less than three hours, then, like two and a half hours. But I wanted to share with you that internal frustration you have is the same internal frustration that I have. I feel stupid. I feel stupid because everything is frustrating. Everything is daunting. I don't know how I'm going to break down this problem. I don't know how I'm going to solve it. I don't know what the problem is sometimes. <laughs> And that's okay. There are other videos here on YouTube about like stop feeling stupid, be more confident. But honestly, I sort of enjoy feeling stupid. It's invigorating, it's fun, it's creative. And now we're entering in a whole new world. And it's just an API away. This is the most fascinating, fun thing I've, I've seen. Literally, it took me, after I, I've dealt with App Script for a long time, like in 10 years, I then was able to take the OpenAI's documentation, put it into an App Script, and use the API of GPT-3, I think within 30 minutes. The video that Bettersheets members can watch right now on Bettersheets.co is less than 30 minutes. So you're able to learn from my mistakes and 10 years of experience, right? Now, there is a issue, right? That you don't know what I know from that 10 years, and I'm trying to explain it to you as if you do know. And that's a common frustration, I think, with teachers, with courses. There may be some unsaid things, there may be some untalked about things, like what did he mean by dot notation? What do you mean by bracket notation? What did he mean by indexing? What is JSON? 
Is that a man? Is he an Argonaut? No, it's not, not any of that. JSON is J-S-O-N. It's a text, essentially, in a formatted, structured way. You would know that if you took Spreadsheet Automation 101. I mean, go take that. And if you're still frustrated, if you're still feeling stupid, then take a workshop. I do live workshops. I'm doing them more regularly now. They are all about AppScript, and we walk through anything and everything you need. If you have a specific problem you need done, if you have like literally a business practice and you're like, I do this every single day, and I don't want to do it every day. I want to click a button, and it's done for me. Or even you learn about triggers, which you don't even have to click the bug, <laughs> the bug, the button, <laughs> the bug and button. You don't have to click the bug and button. You just set the timer, and it runs without you. That's magical, right? <laughs> like that would be absolute magic. And spreadsheet automation 101 goes through that. But I don't think you're gonna feel not stupid after that. I have had a few people go through those three hours of videos and then they still feel stupid. And so I wanna tell you, I feel stupid after 10 years of this. I feel like every time, every time somebody starts a question, I'm like, I ask people to ask me questions all the time. I tell people, you can ask me anything. People email me all types of questions. And every single time when I start reading a question, I panic. I think I may never be able to answer this person's question. Part of that is not knowing what the problem is. So there's a bit of going back and forth. But it's an insecurity, right? And you look at Google Sheet gurus. You look at gurus. You look at guys, <laughs> the email guys, email gurus, sales gurus. They seem so confident. They seem like they got it together. They probably feel insecure as well. <laughs> like, are we going to be able to do this deal or not? But I think that mindset of this is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be a learning experience. I think they have that as well. So, I mean, I feel stupid and it's okay. So it's okay for you to feel stupid. Y you might want to feel smarter I don't know how to feel smarter because I don't feel smarter. I'm sort of always trying to push that gap, curiosity gap, that knowledge gap further and further. There's always going to be one. That's sort of the trick to happiness is there's a happiness gap. And if, if you feel like you will be happy when you get over here, 100% of the time you'll never feel happy because there's always a happiness gap. But you have to feel happy where you are so that there is no gap and you're always happy no matter where you are. Same thing with feeling stupid. You're gonna feel stupid. If you feel stupid now, you're gonna feel stupid tomorrow. Okay, does not mean you can't learn. Doesn't mean you can't read the documentation. In fact, I think feeling stupid has helped me learn a lot. It's made me sit down and read documentation. It's made me ask people for help. It's made me know that I might not know it. <laughs> like, what I know is that I don't know. That's a weird thing to say, but that's okay. And in fact, it's better. I think it's better to feel stupid. I don't know about you. If you still feel stupid, <laughs> comment down below. I'm happy to hear your comments. I have actually another video here on YouTube about mindset of a programmer. Watch that video. There are some basic ideas of what you think a programmer thinks one of the most common answers to how to think like a programmer is you got to break down a problem into its in parts. And I don't think that helps at all. So watch this video here about how to think like a programmer, the mindset of someone who's programming AppScript. I think it's going to be very helpful for you.